Met starter Luis Severino with a standing no. He took a no-no into the eighth, allowed just one hit, one earned when it was all said and done, but it wasn't enough. The game was tied one-to-one -one in the top of the ninth when Cubs' Christopher Morrell took Mets closer Edwin Diaz deep for a two-run shot, and the Cubs come away with a three-to-one win. Ah, with my Gunner Henderson with a first inning home run against the Yankees for his league leading 10th home run. Tied with Mike Trout, the Orioles beat the Yanks 2 0. The Twins extend their winning streak to eight games with a 3 2 win over the White Sox, their best streak since 2011. Max Kepler delivered the go ahead RBI in the ninth. The Mariners are starting to look like the 90s Braves. Bryce Miller, 10 Ks over seven innings, took a no no into the seventh. 15 whiffs on his four seam fastball, the second best mark in baseball behind his own teammate, George Kirby, who got 18 whiffs just a few days earlier. On the other side, Max Max Freed tossed six no-hit innings for the Braves with seven strikeouts. Before being pulled on 100 pitches, he now extends his scoreless streak to 15 innings. This was the game of the night. The Braves led it one to nothing in the bottom of the night before Mitch Garver stepped to the plate for the Mariners and launched a walk-off two-run bomb off Braves reliever A.J. Minter to give the Mariners the 2-1 to -one win. Seattle is still atop the AL West, one game ahead of the Texas Rangers. Ellie De La Dinger launched his eighth home run of the season and the Reds 5-2 win over the Padres. Nick Lodolo, 11 strikeouts over 7 innings, just one hit allowed. The Angels beat the Red Hot Phillies 6-5. They were gifted two runs in the bottom of the 7th on this Sir Anthony Dominguez wild pitch.